Hi and welcome to this video. I'm Lucas. Let's talk about a new feature in Studio 1.6 that nobody, as far as I know, has really talked about since the release. Are you maybe one of those who aren't that interested in the big epic features in new Studio One versions, but rather in these smart workflow improvements and small features that make our lives as a music or audio producer so much easier? Then this video is for you. Have you ever tried to run a command or macro that you don't find in any of the menus? For example, the command show song in Explorer or Finder, which just opens the Explorer here on Windows with the song that's currently open, which I think is incredibly useful. Or for example, the shift loop commands that let you nudge the loop range. Previously, the only way to run one of these commands or macros was to go into the keyboard shortcuts and make a new shortcut like in this case for the shift loop command. Or alternatively, you could create a new button and assign it to this command. But this is quite cumbersome only to run a single command that you maybe only need this one time. Or what about the many macros that are hidden in different menus? Wouldn't it be great if we could directly access all these commands and macros? That's now possible with the find command feature in Studio 1.6. I only need to press a key and this will open this pop-up. Start typing a command name. So I can just enter text to search this whole list of Studio One commands. For example, let's say I want to split my event at these grid lines here. Then I just type in split at. And as you can see, I get all the commands that have split at in their name. And then I can go up and down with the arrow keys to see what I have here. Split at cursor, split at band markers. Did you know that there's a split at band markers function? Could be useful sometimes, right? But now I just need split at grid, and then I just need to press enter to run this command. So you can probably imagine how useful this is because you get access to all the commands just with one key. That's very useful as well if you're looking for a command, but you can't remember in which menu this was, or maybe you don't even want to go into any menu, but just use one key to get to the list. For example, if I want to display this audio clip here in the pool in the browser, and I know that this command is called select in pool, just type it in, press enter, and here it is. And as I said earlier, this also works with macros. These will appear in this list just like any regular Studio One command. So when I'm editing notes, for example, and I don't have my musical editing macro page open with all the note editing macros, then I can still change, say, the velocity of these notes when I just press the key and type velo. And there I have plus 10, plus 25% and all the other velocity macros. Let's take this one and done. Maybe you haven't really used this macro so far because you don't want to go into the pages and menus or you just prefer to use keyboard shortcuts anyway, but you don't have enough free keys left on your keyboard for all these different macros you like to use. Then it may be time to try out the find command function. You may ask now, how do we get to this pop-up in the first place? If you don't want to assign a key for it, you can simply go into the help menu because you can find the command right in this menu. And as you can see, I have assigned it to this special character on my German keyboard. You can of course assign this to any key you want. If you go into the keyboard shortcuts, enter find command, then assign a hotkey. And that's already it. Maybe you want the time display, press the key, type time disp, and press enter. Here is the time display. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And for more hidden gems and other advanced Studio One tips and tutorials, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.